Hey guys, back with another ARC video, not Hard Magnus, this time on my Pally, and I'm gonna do a tutorial on how we speed run and how, as a Pally, we maximize our DPS as a team and we avoid DR altogether. And you can see right now it's kind of a cluster, um, very distracting with the Divine Echoes and all the damage skins going on, but I want you to focus on what ARC does. Um, he goes Orb, and then he goes Lightning, and then he's gonna DR. So right there, I stun it right after that lightning. You leave it about a few, a few seconds after he does lightning, and it's going to skip the DR altogether. I know that was fast. I know a lot just happened right there. That first DR comes in around 25 seconds into the fight, so it happens very quickly, and you really got to stay on top of it. Right? But after you get that first DR out of the way, it's easy to follow. Right, So you'll see as a pally, our shield slam stun is on a one minute cooldown. So you don't have to worry about any DR until shield slam is back on cooldown. And there's usually about a 90 second interval between each DR. So the first one was around 25 seconds. The second one is going to be around two minute timer. So there's a few ways that you can pay attention to it um, before you even have to start focusing on what sequence arc is doing, right? So it's 90 second intervals in between stun DRs, or you can just look at your shield slam timer and wait about 30 seconds afterwards your shield slam comes up on cooldown. So just like that, shield slam is already off of cooldown and you're gonna be looking for that orb lightning sequence. And right here he does orb snake strike lightning. So that's not what you're looking for, right? He's gonna do a debuff right here He's going to do orb, so you got to pay attention to that. Then lightning right afterwards, right here, and you wait a split second, and then you stun right there. And so he's going to skip the DR altogether, and you'll see what comes up next is the orb, and that's how you know you did it correctly. And so, again, it takes a little bit of timing, it takes a little bit of practice, and I highly recommend if you're a pally trying to get this stun timing down, just go into an arc run on your own by yourself, have your sacro up, so, and you can just practice that DR timing within the first 25, 30 seconds of the fight, right? You can leave, you can re-enter, and just keep rinse and repeating until you get that timing down, right? And that's a super easy way. It's not going to cost you any buffs. You just have your sacro up, it'll be up for 30 seconds, and then you'll time out that shield slam, that stun, and then you'll go back and leave and try again. And as you can see, he's already down to 60% with that second screen crack. Um, we only went through two DR stun phases. And, you know, this run was about six and a half minutes and it could have been a lot faster. Um, but we lost the DPS to, to DC, one of our top DPS. But anyways, it's usually around five, six stuns maybe in the entire fight. And those are crucial stuns. Um, DR is one of those things that really gives people a lot of hard time. And, you know, if we don't have two phantoms to steal it, it's a lot of uptime lost over the length of the fight. So here it comes right here, orb, lightning again, and then you're gonna wait a split second and then get your stun in. Perfect timing, he's gonna do his orb next, skip DR, and we're just off and running. No one has to stop their cast. Everyone can just keep DPSing as if nothing happened. Nothing, didn't even see that low battery alarm. And this is a good video to show you guys because not only was I a DPS pally at the beginning. I'm also acting as support. Uh, you can see our two, there's no one on the blue orb. Um, so that was my job to take over. So I'll show you that with my stun, how I just stay in the in the corner. I go in and out to threaten. I go in and out to do some damage if I have Sakura up and I'll just go in and out, jump in to do my stun and I'll jump right out. So even if you're not a full on DPS pally, you're just support and you don't wanna get in there and take damage and possibly die, just pay attention to this right here. What I do is I'll be watching for Ark's abilities. I'm being portaled right here, right? So then probably Magic Crash just happened or not. And so I'm going to go in, DPS, try to get my Threaten up, and then back off. And so Shield Slam is off cooldown, so I know it's coming soon, right? So I'm going to be paying attention to that. Try and dodge the Orb right there, dash away, Orb, Snake Strike. And so the next is going to be Lightning. And then if even if you're a support, you want to manual, you want to be as safe as possible, you can manual sacro um, when you go into stun DR and it's coming up right here. 
I almost miss it, I think, but I get the send off just as the animation occurs. Um, but yeah, if you're a support and you're afraid of going in there and dying, you can always just manual sacro right before you're about to go in and stun DR so you know you're not going to die, right? And basically, that's it as a pally, right? You can DPS, you can support, you can stun, you got your magic crash, you got your res, um, and it's just a lot of fun and a lot of utility. And that st stunning that DR just builds a lot of confidence in the entire team that they don't have to interrupt their cast or worry about it or have to look out for it. They can just keep DPSing as long as you communicate as your pally that that's what you're going to do. And the rest of the team understands not to stun arc so that you don't mess up the diminishing returns timer, right? So this was a pretty fun run altogether. It showed a lot of the... Um, pros of having a pally of being a pally you get to do a lot of different things to help the team and you'll see right here as this fight is coming to an end my shield slam is off cooldown so i know within about the next 30 seconds there's going to be one more stun if we even get to that point of the fight so i'm on the lookout watching for that orb um looking for there's a snake strike and then it's going to be lightning right and then the next one is going to be the debuff and then he's going to do orb right here and then he's going to do lightning, and I'm going to be stunning it right there, right before screen crack. And this is just muscle memory. This is just something I know from experience of running arc and doing this stun many, many times. So like I said, head into an arc run by yourself. Get your sacro out for 30 seconds. Time out that stun, that first stun. Make sure you, you can get it timed out right. And once you're in the actual run, you're going to kill it. You're going to help the team out a lot and make the runs go a lot smoother and hit PRs.